Hi, in today's video, I'm going to share with you a free indicator that you can actually use to analyze charts in a better way. Okay, so it's going to help you become a little bit profitable and you can actually download this indicator for free. The link will be in the description. So all you need to do is simply download this indicator and add it to the chart. So here is how it's going to help you. So by the way, this is Crash 500 and I'm current on the 15 minutes time frame. So, so let me just try to zoom in a little bit and we're going to go to the end so the indicator is called the mw5 pattern so it's a wave pattern indicator okay so if you've learned about the edit wave and the patterns and stuff like that then you might have know about this so all you need to do is drag it to the chart so don't change anything unless you know what you're doing for now simply go on with the default parameters which are these okay and click ok So the five wave pattern indicator, this is a custom indicator which provides pattern based trade setups. They are based on the M and W uh, wave patterns. So this indicator, as you can see on the chart, it plots the lines connecting the swing highs and the swing lows to help you identify the last pattern formed on the price chart. So if you can look further, you can also find that it also labels the swing highs and the swing lows with a number to show where the market currently is at relative to the key points on the pattern. So, and then it plots a dust line to show the projections where price may possibly move towards to if price action would form another pattern. So here price okay, would either go up or go down. So there are only two things which can happen here. Okay, and lastly, it also plots the horizontal lines based on the identified price swings of the market. So, these horizontal lines can also be used as support and resistance lines where you can actually anticipate potential reversals. Okay, so this is it about Crash 500. So, I think before I end the video, let me show you some other examples. Maybe you can try to understand better. So, for example, here I'm on Boom uh, 1000 on the one hour time frame. So when it comes to the five uh, wave pattern, so we've got our one, there's two, there's three, there's four, and finally there's five. So the five uh, wave pattern has been formed. So at this point, there are only two things which can happen is either price will go up or price will go down. Okay. So currently, as we can see, I think I'm trying to zoom in. Okay, so currently, as you can see, price is definitely going down. So if you were to enter a trade, obviously, you would enter a trade at the fifth level and you would keep your stop loss, okay, on the blue line above here, okay? Or because why should you keep your stop loss here? So let me try to zoom out. Okay, so this is because, okay, if you keep your stop loss just above five, it's possible that your trade might be taken out. So placing your stop loss at the level where there's a three is a good idea. Okay, because uh, remember what I said in the previous, I said that you can use the support and resistance lines to help you know your target profit or where to place the stop loss. So if you place a stop loss at the level three, okay, this will be good. This means that if your stop loss there, if your trade uh, gets taken out, okay, that, mean, that will mean that price was actually going to hit that way okay so this time so at the point five you're obviously going to sell okay because we're going to trade price action and you're going to follow where price is heading so when you sell here obviously your take profit is either going to be on the level two or on level four so if you want you can have two trades and the first take profit can be at level two or the second target profit can be at level four let me show you one last example before I end the video. So let me try to add crash 1000. Uh, let me try to add boom, boom 500. So this is uh, boom 500 in the one hour time frame. So we've got the one, we've got the two, we've got the three, we've got the four, and the final the five. So the five wave pattern has been formed and now okay so the dotted uh dash lines here okay they simply guide us okay 
telling us giving us an idea like where price might move to so how do you know where price must move simply have to wait give it some time and see where price will hit if price is going to hit up like above the five you can buy if it's going to hit down below the five then you can still and simply maintain uh your stop loss okay and remember a take profit the best way to know where to set or take profit or stop loss is to follow the previous swing high or the previous swing low in short just follow the the lines which have been drawn for you for example here if you are to sell let me zoom in again so if you are to sell obviously stop loss would be at three okay if that's too much for you for example this is the one hour time frame so that might be too much so you can simply go on a lower time frame okay in short simply follow your strategy follow how you choose your risk your management and everything should work out okay so i don't know if what i've talked about has made sense but if it has feel free to give this video a like if you've learned something from it give it uh, another like if possible okay bye for now this is keith